What's happening? I hope you're all well. So, Arta Batavia beats Anthony Yard in, I believe, the uh, eighth or ninth round. I'm just literally recording it straight after it happened. And that was a competitive fight. Competitive fight. Both fighters, I believe, were hurt. Both fighters performed well. And um, Anthony Yard shows, showed that he had the um, technical skill or technical skill to a degree, but also, I'd say, more predominantly, the athleticism. Um, the athleticism. He had the athleticism and the punching power to compete with Artur Batyrev. And um, Artur Batyrev was much more composed, much more economical, um, had definitely more um, ring IQ than Anthony Yar, but Anthony Yar had the athleticism and the punch power to compete with Batyrev. Um, it was competitive all the way through, but I felt that Anthony Yard, he showed that if he can get Batyrev on the back foot, then he can be really effective. But the thing is, Batyrev, um, in return, would almost be very good at spinning Anthony Yard um, around when when Batyrev was back up against the ropes. He would turn Anthony Yard, and then he would unload on Anthony Yard. And it seemed that he very, very um, quickly was able to get um, Anthony Yard in trouble. Batyrev was hurt, but he knew the difference. A difference in this fight is Batyrev knew what to do when he was hurt. He got on his back foot, he made himself hard to hit, he cleared his head. When Anthony Yard got hurt, he almost put his guard up and was like hoping that nothing was going to, you know, it wasn't going to be too much. Um, and he got caught by a good uppercut doing that, like just almost high guard back in the corner, hoping that it would be, things would work out. So, but listen, Anthony Yard, he didn't have a lot of amateur fights. Uh, Batyrev, he fought at the top level in the amateurs. He actually um, fought Alexander Yusik, um in the amateurs. So the fact that Anthony Yard was able to e compete, and he did compete with Batyrev, is um, credible to him. You know, credit to him for that. Um, coming from a, such a lack of experience um, prior to turning pro to competing with Artur Batyrev, that's an achievement. Um, now, just to sort of go over it, it was an even fight, competitive fight. The commentary, I wasn't scoring it, but the commentary had um, Yard winning at one point, and I just watching it, I wouldn't argue with that. Um, but it just seemed to me that Batyrev's um, efficiency, economical with his work, experience, New York Steel, New hurt, that was the difference um, in this fight. Yard had the talent but perhaps not the um, experience and it showed in this fight so that's so it was round number eight when the fight ended um now towards the end of the fight it was very competitive and then anthony Yard gets caught with a overhand right and i think a barrage of punches follow and then he goes down now when he went down there i suspect by the way he got up he wanted to um, the fight to end at that point. That's what I think. Um, don't hold me to it, but it looked like you know when he got knocked down and he got up and he started looking at his corner. I don't. I could be wrong, but it just looked to me like his body language, um, the way he looked towards his trainer, was almost like he was looking for support. I don't see fighters doing that often. I've seen fighters go down and be angry that they've been knocked down or get down, get up, get on with it. He got up, he went down, looked at his coach, and then, you know, um, and it looked, and to me, it kind of looked like he wanted out of there. I might be wrong. Anyway, um, he gets up, he gets hit again, his coach goes onto the ring apron, and um, the fight gets stopped. So, did Anthony Yard kind of quit in that fight? I wasn't there, I don't know what he was thinking, but it just looked to me after the first knockdown, it just looked a bit weird to me, um, the way he was looking outside of the ring. He wasn't giving the body language of someone who was like ready to carry on. Um, but again, I might be wrong, I wasn't there, don't hold me to it. And I'm just an observer looking at what I saw straight after I saw it. But either way, Batyrev, he gets the win, he moves on, I hope he fights some um, Bivol. And as for Anthony Yard, he can come again. Um, you know, you can come again and um, 
you know, let's see what happens. There's definitely some domestic dust-ups for a yard to have. The fight against Buatsi is a winnable fight based on what I saw there. Um, fight against Callum Smith, favour Callum Smith probably, but again, that's a winnable fight. Um, there's fights out there for yard. Um, but either way, Batoviev, he's he's at 38. He's going to want to get that bivouac fight done as soon as possible. And um, let's see what happens. So what did you make of the fight? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so you get a notification when I make a new video. Check out my new crime video. The link for that is in the description. And I'll see you on the next video.